Okay, so we're going to go straight to brow today, real quick. So recently I've really enjoyed using like two brow powders because they have two different shades so I can kind of get that more natural looking brow. And I use the two middle shades from the two Master Brow Pro palettes, one in the shade Soft Brown and one in the shade Deep Brown. You guys can feel free to use eyeshadows if you don't have brow powders available because it's just so easy to access and there's so many different shades that you can use. I actually used to use two different eyeshadow shades when I used to do my brows um, back in the day, thorough back time. <laughs> but I used to use two different eyeshadows. I would use the lighter brown on the start of my brow and then a darker shade on the tail of my brow. So you can just use eyeshadows if you want. Like, it's not really any rules to make up. So you do you, boo. You do you. So what I first like to do before I fill in my brows is I like to just spoolie, get a little spoolie brush. You can use one on the end of a brow brush if you have one. Just anything. And just brush up my hairs to get the shape of my brows so that when I fill them in, I'm filling them to the natural shape. So I brush them up first so that I can get to the bottom, the roots of the brow. So to fill in my brows, I just use an angled brush. This little angled brush here I just got from eBay. Nothing fancy to it. And I grab the soft brown powder and I grab the middle shade on that angled brush. And what I do is I just place the edge of the brush to the roots of my hairs and I brush up to kind of define that bottom part of my brow. I always start where the darkest part of my brow is and I angle the angle of the brush towards the head of my brow. I place the edge of my bristles down and I brush up, edge of the bristles brush up and as I go in towards the head of the brow the product kind of tapers in because it gets less and less each time so I get that natural looking brow because the head of our brows is usually more sparse and lighter than the, dark, the tail of our brow so you want it to be lighter here, darker here. I start where the darkest, like where the most hair growth is because I want it to be darker there. Because wherever you place the brush down first is going to be where it's darkest. So if you place the brush down here first, it's going to be darker here. Whereas if you place the brush down here first with all the product on it, it's going to be darker here and that's not really what you're going for. So just flick it up to get the more feathered natural brow hair look. Dipping into that soft brown shade again, tap off any excess. I now start to carve out the top of my brows and what I do is again I start where it's darker, where, the natu where there's more natural darkness to it and I drag it across following the top roots of my brow because I like to make them look a little bit thicker and I just bring that around there. I don't go all the way to the tail because I'm just going to use a darker brow powder afterwards. And then with whatever's left on the brush, I just taper in towards the head of the brow. And start to fill in the gaps. So I just kind of use little brush stroke motions to mimic the natural hairs. So to fill in the rest of my brow, I grab the dark brown shade. I just follow the natural roots of my hairs, brow hairs, towards the end of my tail. So I kind of like to press and drag down when I'm really carving them out. If I do make a little mistake, I'll just kind of carve out the tops a little bit with some foundation to soften it up a little bit. Sometimes I can go a little bit too high on the arch or something like that. I go back in with my spoolie to brush the hairs up again because they can fall down sometimes. On the bottom part of the brow, I press and flick, press and flick to get that really carved out shape. I like to just kind of feather the product towards the head. I don't usually bring it all the way. I'll just feather it in so that those two, shadow, those two shades blend in together. And then I'm just carving out the bottom of the brows towards the tail. And to clean up the edges a little bit, just because today I was a bit messy, I'm just going to lightly Drag some foundation on an eye concealer brush. Drag the foundation along the bottom to clean it up, make it nice and sharp. So once you've got your brows nice and carved out and looking fine, I'm going to go in with a brow gel. Usually I'll go in with like a deep brown gel or a clear brown gel. Brown. 
a clear brow gel. But I think I might do the tinted today because I want a bit more drama because I'm going for a more extravagant look today. So make sure you always wipe off the wand so that you don't get a massive clump of product. Just makes your life harder having to work that through. And I start at the, at the head of the brow using upward strokes. And I'll kind of brush to the side to get them in that shape of the brow that I've created. Because I like that structured brow. Voila! Oh my gosh, I'm actually really loving the brows today. Like they are super sleek and carved, especially this brow. Like that's my, always my favourite brow. Always my fave. So a tip I want to give you guys to finish up is with a brow routine. You want to kind of figure out what looks best with your brow. Sometimes people find that a brow pencil looks better than a powder or a pomade looks better than a pencil. Like you've got to kind of try different products, different techniques to see what works best for your brows. And it's all about practice, guys. Today I went a little bit heavy-handed on the front of the brow, but usually it's a bit more feathered in. Feathered, feathered in. Um, but I'm still loving it. I'm digging it. Each day is going to be a different brow day, so you're going to look different each day, which I kind of like that. It's like a change-up. And just start practicing working with the shape of your brow, seeing what works, what doesn't. You know, that just, just that kind of stuff. It's taking me ages to get to what I like with my brows, like the techniques, the products, like, it's just trial and error, you guys. But you will get there in the end, so keep going at it. Otherwise, have an amazing day. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial, and I'll see you in my next one. Mwah. Bye, guys.